Hi, I'm Jimbo Juanis, and this is the Dead News. The Grateful Dead led the list of the top 100 box scores in 1988, according to an industry trade magazine. Amusement Business Magazine reported the Dead were the fourth highest grossing touring act of the year, performing before an astonishing 1,198,000 people, grossing $22 million in the process. In over 70 shows, 62 were sellouts. The Dead were the number one highest grossing act for a single venue in 1988. That venue, you ask? Madison Square Garden. The Grateful Dead will play the Henry J. Kaiser Auditorium in Oakland, California on February 5th, 6th, and 7th. The 6th is Chinese New Year, while the 7th is Mardi Gras. The boys then move south for three shows at the LA Forum, February 10th, 11th, and 12th. The new CD of the Jerry Garcia Acoustic Band, titled Almost Acoustic, has just been released. With artwork by bassist John Kahn, the CD features such familiar dead classics as Deep Ellum Blues and Babe It Ain't No Lie, as well as more recent Garcia gems as The Wind and Rain and Swing Low Sweet Chariot. These live performances were recorded at LA's Will Turn Theater and the Warfield Theater in San Francisco. Also set for imminent release is Dylan and the Dead, recorded during their historic 1987 tour together. The Columbia Records release features the artwork of famed poster artist Rick Griffin. Rick explained to DTV his inspiration for the cover design. The, the, the image of the wings pointing towards the middle with the tips touching is an idea from the uh, Ark of the Covenant in the uh, Old Testament. It had, its, it had the same kind of wings. So the train is rolling right through the mercy seat. Mountain bike personality Bobby Weir was featured in a full page ad promoting Bicycling Magazine in the November issue of Advertising Age. Besides discussing such diverse topics as lyric writing, deadheads, the 60s and the 90s, Bobby revealed that he takes his mountain bike on the road with him to stay in shape. If you're in the Bay Area for the upcoming Kaiser shows, we suggest checking out Gene Anthony's multi-image Summer of Love show. This special documentary plays Saturday and Sunday at Haight-Ashbury's Red Vic Movie House in San Francisco. Recently, Jonathan Marks of Grateful Graphics in San Francisco received an order for eight of his popular Dancing Bear t-shirts from Loving, a soap opera aired daily on ABC. It seems that one of their featured characters is a deadhead. The producers of the show I said they it, introduced man. the That's character so because they think, it. quote, it's something that yes. people out here can you relate to. Side, and finally, DTV would like to note the passing of rock pioneer Roy Orbison. Roy's haunting lyrics and operatic vocals on such songs as Only the Lonely, Crying, and Pretty Woman were among rock's finest. He will be sorely missed. And that's the dead news for now.